5.4a, Introduction to Polynomials, Adding Polynomials. A term is a product of numbers and or variables. Product meaning things that are being multiplied together. Some examples of this could be things such as 5x squared or 3ab or even an x by itself or a plain number. These are all terms. A monomial just means that you have only one term. This could be one of those that is listed above. A binomial means that you have two terms. This means that two terms are being added or subtracted. This could look something such as a squared minus b squared, or it could be something like x plus 5. A trinomial is three terms. A trinomial can be shown as something to the form of ax squared plus bx plus c, or it could be shown as x squared plus 3x plus 7. It just has three monomials being added or subtracted. A polynomial just means something that has many terms or more than three. An example of this could be ax squared plus by squared plus cxy plus dx plus ey plus f. It could also include numbers such as 4ax squared or any other numbers on any of the terms. Adding polynomials just means that we are going to be combining the like terms. Let's look at the examples. In the first example, we show a trinomial being added to a trinomial. As you can see here, we have an add symbol in between. Since there is nothing next to the add symbol, no number, we know that this is actually not going to affect the numbers inside if we were to distribute through. This is due to the fact that there is nothing to distribute. Since there is nothing out front of the first trinomial, the parentheses are no longer needed and may be dropped. In the second trinomial, as we just discussed, there is nothing besides a positive out front which will not change any of the inside. If you would like, you can imagine distributing a positive 1 to each of the terms. When we do this, we will end up with a negative 3x squared minus a 5x plus 7. At this point, we may now combine like terms. We start with the highest exponent and we see that we have a, one of those. We have two terms with x squareds. We have two terms with x's. And finally, we have one term that is just a number. We may combine these like terms. So we get 4x cubed minus 5x squared minus 4x plus Seven. Remember, when combining like terms, you do not change any of the variables or exponents, but you merely combine those that are the same. Since none of these terms left has anything the same, they cannot be combined. Remember, like terms are things that have similar variables and exponents. Let's look at example two. In example two, once again, there's nothing out front of this parenthesis. 
therefore nothing must be distributed through, and the parentheses may be dropped. This results in the same thing that was inside. On the second one, once again, you can imagine distributing a positive one throughout. This will not change any of the terms inside, which means we result in a positive 4a squared b minus 2ab cubed plus 4ab. At this point, we once again need to combine like terms. It is usually best to start with the highest exponents. We can see that there is two of the a squared b's. Next, let's look for things that have a single a. As you can tell, there's a single a with a b cubed. We have another a with a b cubed. And then we have one that has an a, but it is not a b cubed and therefore is not a like term. This will be its own group of a, b. We see there is another a, b in the last term. Now we combine the like terms. If we combine the two that have a, b cubes, we will get one a, b cubed. We do not need to write the one and therefore can write a, b cubed. Next, we can combine those that are yellow or the a squared b. When we combine the two a squared b's, we get a positive two a squared b. Finally, we combine the blue, which have a b's. One a b and four a b becomes five a b. This is our final answer as none of these terms are like terms. Remember, when adding polynomials, you must first assess if the parentheses are there for something to be distributed through. Then you may combine like terms.